Hi boys and girls, I hope you all had a nice weekend. It's Sharon here and I've got another book for you. Just take a look at it. What do you guys see? I see a boy. I see a girl. What else do you see? I see some words. I see a crocodile. Oh, I wonder what that's about. And on the back, I see some more crocodile. Let's see who. The author is Malice Doyle and the illustrator is Britta Tetrup. Oh, it's a long name. Start at the beginning. Let's find out. It says, can you flap your, can you flap both your ears to keep you cool when it's hot? Can you flap your ears? Well, let's see. Oh, but an elephant can. Can you jump 90 times as high as yourself? That is high. I wonder who can do that. Let's see. <gasps> well, fleas can. Can you drink a tub full of joy juice in 10 minutes? A tub full of juice in 10 minutes? Can you do that? I wonder what will happen if you drank a whole tub of juice. I know if I did that, I have a tummy ache. Let's see who can do that. <gasps> Not likely, but a camel can. Can you stick out a tongue that's as long as you are? Show me your tongue. How long is your tongue? Let's see. Well, a chameleon can. Look at his long tongue. You know, a chameleon is a type of lizard. Can you let go of one hand as you swing through the trees? Let's see. Well, a gibbon can. What do you think a gibbon is? What do you see in the picture? A gibbon's a type of monkey. Can you eat enough food to last you a week? <gasps> That's a lot of food. I wonder what would happen if you ate enough food to last and you didn't have to eat for a whole week. I know my tummy hurts so bad. Who do you think can? Let's see. Well, a crocodile can. Can you stand on one foot while you sing a song? I think I can do that. Can you write? Can you draw? Can you count to ten? Let's see you count to ten. Can you read your new book? Well, a crocodile can. Yes! Only you can do all those things. Let me see you count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boys and girls, that's the end of that book. Tomorrow, we have another book for you to read. I hope you have a good day.